finally here in Hangzhou. Um, I just came to an area called West Lake, which apparently is the most popular. Today it's a public holiday here in China, so there's a lot of people, big crowd here. The West Lake is one of the most beautiful places in China. I didn't really made a plan, and I'm just gonna walk around the area and see where the road takes me. The Life in Pagoda is 5 levels tall and it has 8 sides. It was built in the year 975 and collapsed in 1924. It was reconstructed in 2002 and became a popular travel destination after then. This pagoda is a beautiful representation of the traditional Chinese architecture. The views of the lake that you get from the last floor of the pagoda are just magnificent. I was just walking in the park and I saw there was a boat on the way and it just started to board it. I don't know where is it going actually, but it should go somewhere. We're right now in the West Lake and it's really really beautiful. crossed the lake to the other side and enjoyed a beautiful sunset. Sometimes when traveling, the best plan is just not to have one. This lake is charming. It has always been a beautiful and romantic spot since ancient times. Nowadays, West Lake is one of the top 10 scenic areas in China, getting listed as a World Cultural Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2011. It is famous for the romantic legends and wonderful scenery. I came to what looks like the old street of uh, Hangzhou. It's a, it's a very touristic place. Of course, there's a lot of people. It's quite hectic, this street. Uh, you can see a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, a lot of like typical Chinese things. Very, very traditional dresses, um, traditional food, a lot of people yelling, a lot of people screaming. It's a, it's a very very loud place, but it's still very uh, very nice. <laughs> 
see. I've been in a couple places like this before in Chengdu. There is one similar street. I think Shanghai also. Uh, there is a very similar old street. Uh, we do have one in Shenzhen, but it's, I mean, Shenzhen is a young city, it's very modern. So the old street in Shenzhen still feels new. This one you can feel is very traditional, very old, but at the same time it's very, very well preserved. Oh, look at this, this is our famous Dorian, the fruit we were looking for. It's my second day in Hangzhou and today I decided to go explore the city a little bit. I'm riding a bike, the weather is very nice today. A little bit hot but uh, it's still a bit windy so the breeze will calm down a little bit the heat. This area is very nice and I'm going to explore the modern area of the city. I do like you have like uh, an exclusive lane for bikes. At least in this area there are not many cars, so I think it's just fine. The place is quiet, it's not crowded, there's not many people. I'm assuming this is kind of a new area in the city because it feels really new, really well preserved. Looks like they're really taking a good care of the city, at least in this area. So beautiful to ride a bike or take a walk. Absolutely, I'm impressed. If you are a modern architecture enthusiast like me, you will definitely love coming to Hangzhou to admire all these beautiful masterpieces, like the Hangzhou Sports Park Stadium or the nice skyline, that even though it was a little bit hazy that day, it was still breathtaking. After riding a bike for a while, I went to the CBD of Hangzhou to keep exploring and admiring the incredible modern architecture the city has. I found a nice terrace in the rooftop of the Mixi shopping mall to take some nice shots with my drone. After that taste of modernity, I was recommended to visit the West Lake State Guest House, a mesmerizing hotel located next to the West Lake. It's an oasis of quietude and calm surrounded by beautiful traditional architecture and greenery. I also enjoyed some delicious dishes from Hanjo. Every single one was exquisitely prepared and tasted so good.
this is a hotel that's totally worth a visit. Maybe just to have a meal or afternoon tea, perhaps? I totally fall in love with Hangzhou. It's a place that perfectly blends tradition and modernity. I had an unforgettable experience here, with no doubt I will recommend to visit. If you are in China or if you're planning to come in the future, you should definitely go to Hangzhou at least for a couple days. China has a lot to offer and wonderful sceneries to explore. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content about my trips in this amazing country. Don't forget to hit the bell button to receive a notification next time I upload a new episode. <laughs>